But I also want to go to another song on the same same record and do the song All Night Long. Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of had like almost like a like kind of like a an Afro Caribbean sort of like sound yeah. to it. Yeah. What was the story with with that song and that session? Well, um, Lionel didn't set it up anyway. You know, we just said let's start playing, and right away we felt the vibe of what it was. Yeah. Um, and that was a good one because it, it was a long intro and a long, a very extended performance. The whole song. Uh, and that was we just started playing it. Yeah. You know, and again, like all the stuff we, everybody plays it the first time you play the song, and you just kind of psych out what's happening, and then yeah. refine parts and kind of get an idea of where yeah. you're going to do what and so forth. And that's what happened. We just ended up playing it that way. And w do you think the intent was always for it to kind of have like it has like kind of like all these like congas and like oh, kind yeah. of stuff like that? And yeah. you know, the y was there like an intent to go or like do you know anything of, about sort of the, the like what was the the reason for that song was it just to kind of make something that had that vibe or I think so. Yeah, I don't know much of the backstory about okay. it. Um, uh, but he definitely he, he went into a dialogue yeah. coach to get the uh, syllables right that he was saying. So yeah. Forth. Um, yeah, I don't know too much other than that. And so, w what was like the what was that session like? Did he have you know standard charts? Was he playing the the piano? Yep. Or he, was, he always played. And, and again, it was chord symbols, yeah, chord charts. And I remember uh, in the beginning, I do some volume thing here. There, there was it was a very ethereal kind of the beginning with the little yeah congas and different things. And I think I was doing some of the. Some of those kind of, yeah, in the context of the, you know, the whole space thing, and then it started into the groove, uh, da, da, da. and and I remember. Let's see, that was in eight flat. I, I think I, I think the first guitar in the rhythmic entrance was like that kind of thing. Kind of a muted yep. thing like that, and then uh, then there was one section. Uh, 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 the a, I guess it would be the A section where I remember I had the chorus going, and I first I just came up with some doing something like just a, a pad kind of thing. And that was like just using the thumb because you can't yeah. really soften it up with a pick as well. Right. So it was just. Yeah. It was like that. And so there's like the break that goes all night long. And then, and then do you remember the guitar almost sounded like it was kind of doing like a, like, like single note kind of like rhythm guitar stuff in there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Was getting a little yeah. loose with some of those kind of things. Yeah. But again, not making a point of drawing attention to it. Yeah. You know, as much as making it a, an element of the track. You know? Yeah. It's 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 such a uh, like a master class and like just beautiful rhythm playing. Because even in the even in that part where like the intro where you're doing the swells, there's also like a thing that I could hear where it's almost like you're doing like a minor nine hammer on. Oh, that yeah. kind of like comes yeah, in and yeah. out. What's that? One of those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. I do remember that now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a minute ago. Um, yeah, I, mean, I make you yeah. recall something that's like, uh, you know, 40 years old almost, you know, yeah, in this case. I know. And, <laughs> and so I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I just love hearing these stories. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So, it, and that was also this guitar? That was this guitar, yeah. this I used this electric on the whole record. I don't think I used my 335 on any of that stuff. And was it also likely the same Rivera amps that you... Yeah, uh, that would have been the same era um, setup that I was using. Were you typically running both the amps at the same time? Was it stereo? Yeah. Was it mono? Oh, really? Okay. I would run out of uh, uh, either the board or... I may have at that time had a small rack that I had built and I would just run left and right out of that into the two amps and dial them in that way. Did you ever have producers or anybody like be irritated with the stereo setup or were they always accommodating? No, um, but I would always accommodate if they said, well, we don't want to go stereo. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hired out, you know, I'm, right. and I'll, I'll do, you know, the best I can do, but it's their gig. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't say, no, no, we have to do this. Right. You know, I would, I would kind of 
try to push ideas that I had to a certain extent. But yeah. again, you know, I would defer to the people yeah. that want to do it. And do you think that that was also the the boss CE one, the big box chorus on that? Right? Yeah, yeah, it would have been that and uh, the Rivera amps, and maybe just that. Do you think any compression on any of that stuff? Probably not. Okay. You know, I I, I tend to think that it I wasn't using the compressor a lot in those days. Okay. You know, it's funny. Oftentimes I'll I use some compression and and it it's good, and then I'll dial it in. And, yeah, that's good, and then, I, yeah. maybe, and then it sounds best when it's not in the server. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. Sometimes that happens, but, you know, it's appropriate when it is.